feels a very hackneyed and overworked expression. You set the ball rolling. All right. Well, perhaps I could say uh, that since uh, I think I met you uh, about uh, the beginning of last year, and then I went off to Bellagio, and then when I came back, I heard that uh, you had some unusual uh, experiences in Denmark. We were very busy at that time, uh, so we didn't actually get to see you. But uh, perhaps we could start uh, discussing on that line then. Well, uh, yes. Uh, uh, they were indeed uh, very unusual for me. Mm -hmm. And instead of uh, telling you how I got into that, it would perhaps be better for me to, to describe what actually uh, I got into, you see. Uh, I, I got into a uh, a new state of being as it was. Um, uh, Mr. Brian Mason was here at the time and um, something triggered the whole series of changes in me. But it, it came about in, in quite an unexpected way. One day, you see, I think I've heard it before, but uh, <laughs> let, let me uh, go over it all over again. So one day I was lying here, you see, on the same sofa, and suddenly I found my body was missing, you know? And then I opened my eyes and looked at myself, the body was intact, closed my eyes and then I found that my body was missing. Well, I didn't pay any attention to that. Next day, Brian was here for lunch and a few other friends. And I told him, you see, yesterday I found my body missing and it hasn't come back to me yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was, there was another friend there, here who practices homeopathy. And he said, oh, no, something terribly wrong with you. It's uh, something like the separation of the body, you see. Let me go and get some homeopathic pills. <laughs> he, he rushed to his hotel and brought some pills. Uh, but I felt that uh, it was something more than, you see, separation of body, you know. And then there's a series of uh, changes were, uh, took place one day. Um, um, I found that, you see, my skin became suddenly very soft, soft like a milk, you know. And then the next day I found that my vision changed, and then my listening, and then my taste changed, and I found all my uh, senses, five senses, uh, um, started functioning as it were in a different kind of way. And it, the, the whole thing was so puzzling to me, I didn't know what it was. And, but yet, you see, somehow, you see, the whole thing became so panicky to me, I didn't realize what it was all about. And after a week, uh, I suppose all these changes, it took almost a week, you see, for all these changes to take place. One day the eyes, another day the ears, the third day the taste and the fourth day, the skin, and fifth day, I don't remember <laughs> what happened. You see, on the sixth day, you see, I was sitting there again, and then I felt all of a sudden that, you see, the life was simply ebbing out of me, you know. The, um, and then I called her, you see, I feel as if I'm going to die. You see, I have come to the, mm -hmm. the, the end of my life. I would, don't bother, you see, I always told her, you see, if something happens to me, hand over this body to the 
<laughs> to one of the hospitals. <laughs> Don't bother about what to do with my body. And then she found me, she, the whole body turned blue, you know, and I was terribly shaking. And, and I felt as if life was ebbing out, you see, through, through every part of my body. I couldn't sit there. You know, and I moved over here and stretched myself. And, uh, you see, but then, you see, something, the, the whole thing was sinking inside of me, you see, as it were, you see, like a vacuum cleaner. Um, you sucked out. Sucked out. And then, you see, uh, I was in a peculiar kind of state, did you, uh, a bit, uh, uh, the, there was terrible pain in my head and the pain all over my body. And then the last thing is, it's very difficult for me to go over all these things, but now uh -huh. it's, 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 by way of introduction, it's very necessary what happened. Because all my memories are now fading out and it's very difficult for me to, to recall with uh, vividness what happened to me, but it's vaguely I remember. And then suddenly, you see, I, I felt that, you see, to, to use a simile, you know, the, the aperture of a camera trying to close itself and something in me, you know, trying to keep it open. Uh -huh. And then again, you see, the aperture was forcing itself to close down. I tried to keep it open and suddenly, you see, it closed itself. And what happened afterwards, I, I didn't know, but uh, after nearly an hour and a half, um, I, I came out of this and and the whole past completely disappeared, you see. And, and I felt as if, you see, I had no past at all, of any kind. And, and I felt as if I was see, waking up from, you see, a deep slumber, uh, as if for the first time in my life. It, it, was, it was a clean slate. And then I, I didn't sleep that night, you see, at all. It was a very disturbed night. The next morning, you see, on the seventh day, I woke up again, you see, as if I was waking up for the first time in my life. And then on, you see, the, the, the series of, uh, of bewildering situations for me. Then, the next day, you see, you see I was uh, sitting here, uh, again, you see, I think by the time Brian had left and all the friends had left, suddenly, you see, um, the body began vibrating with a tremendously terrific uh, vibrations, you know. And I, I didn't know what to do. I couldn't control the vibrations. They were so terrific. And, and wave after wave, you see, started coming up from here, you see, to the head. And then these waves trying to escape through my, uh, through the brain, you see, or something through the head. And, and this went on, you see, for nearly half an hour, wave after wave, wave after wave, wave after wave, um, with uh, greater and greater uh, speed. And then I couldn't control myself, and yet, you see, I tried to hold on, and, and I called her, something, something is happening to me, and she didn't know, and she, was, she said, you see, uh, you can't do it by any volition of yours, something is, is uh, all right, we have to uh, put up with this, and it went on for half an hour, like that. And then I went into my room and um, stretched myself on the bed, and the whole night, you see, it, starting from here, from foot to head, this terrific wave after wave, like the ocean waves, it went on the whole night, the whole night. I didn't know what it was, I didn't bother to do anything, and, and this uh, friend of mine who practices <laughs> homeopathy, he came and he brought some more pills. But then I suddenly realized there is something, uh, there is something more to it than, you see, is, uh, is, uh, than the way I am, you see, interpreting these things. But anyway, you see, let me wait and see. And, and then, you see, the, the whole of this spinal column, I felt suddenly it was raw, like, like a wound, the whole thing, you see. Uh, I couldn't rest myself, you see, on the back and turn myself this way, that way. And it was such a terrific uh, pain here. Not only here, the, the whole head was painful, you know. And then from that moment onwards, you see, my, my awareness started changing, you know, all of a sudden. Uh, the, so I realized that I was in a state of uh, mm, a peculiar kind of awareness, you know. Mm -hmm. 
the awareness of things outside and the awareness of things inside. Uh, so that was the beginning, you see. And then I go for a walk and, and I see the things and I don't know what they are, you see. And I look at her and, and I don't know who she is. You, you, see, mean, you it, can't name her? No, no, but you see, this is started this way. The naming process uh, was not there, you see. She goes out of this room and, and you see, she, she's out of my consciousness. She has been with me for five, six years every day. As long as she is here, as long as I am looking at her, she is here. But the moment she goes outside and she goes out, you see, she doesn't exist for me at all. The noises she makes in the other room, you see, are not in any way related to her, you see. Something totally unrelated, these two things. Uh, and then, you see, this, this, this kind of a, a bewildering thing conti continued for days and days and this pain in the head, you know. And, and then I felt, uh, you see, that some kind of a, a, a change was going on inside my body, you see. This was some kind of an awareness, uh, you see, that every cell in my body, you see, every gland in my body, um, was hit by something, something, something like a, a um, um, what do you call the lightning, you know, and all the cells, you see, you see, every part of my brain was um, undergoing some kind of a transformation, as it were, and and every organ in my body, you see, I felt was undergoing some kind of a change. It, it went on for two, three, three weeks. Uh, but you see, I, I didn't pay any attention. And then, you see, the breathing changed, my breathing. Suddenly I felt one day that, you see, the air was escaping through uh, here. You see, I breathe in, and suddenly I felt that the, uh, you see, it was escaping through some part here. I looked at it, no hole here, but at the yeah. same time, it was escaping as it were here. And then, you see, this David Barry was here one day, mm. and he said, you look here, old chap, you see. <laughs> This is not a funny thing that you, you got into. You see, these are all, you see, he's very well read in um, the Hindu philosophy, mysticism, and, and yoga. He's, he's a very well read chap, and he lived with these, uh, the Hindu monks. And he said, you see, you, you have come into an extraordinary state of being, similar to that of uh, the religious teachers. They don't treat it very lightly. And, and then, you see, but I didn't pay any attention. So although I, I myself was a student of philosophy, I taught Indian philosophy, I lived with the monks for seven years, practiced everything. It never occurred to me that this, that this could be the thing which I wanted when I was young, you see, and, 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 and worked hard and hard. And then um, I told him, you see, well, anyway, if, if it is so, you see, maybe it is so, I don't know. But I set out to, to go to New York, you know, and built up a tremendous image, you see, and the God-dazzling things and, and, and the beauty, the grandeur, the splendor of New York City. I thought I was going towards there, and suddenly, if it is uh, this what you say it is, I find myself in, in a, in a God, God forbidden, even the de devil's forsaken place. <laughs> this, this, this can't be the thing. And, and uh, see, then it's just, something as it were in me, there was nothing there inside of me. And I uh, said, you see, this is what you have been asking for, this is only not that, you see. That was only an image you built for yourself, but this is, this is actually the thing. And I said to myself, you see, in, indeed I played with some kind of a dynamite, you know, I didn't want this kind of thing. Anyway, I can't do anything about this, I have to stay with this, I, I told myself. And then, you see, uh, this bewildering um, things continued for, for weeks and weeks, uh, everything I, I look at it, you see, the, the word doesn't come into my mind. And I look at a rose, and then you see, I have to ask her, what is that flower? And she says rose, and we take a few steps more. And then I ask her the question again, you see, what is that? You see, this is <laughs> rose. Like a baby, what's the matter with me? You know? And with, refer with regard to everything, you see, everything I look, I look at the, uh, the tape recorder there, you see. And then the question arises in me, what is that? So there was, uh, then I had to ask her again, you, you know. This kind of thing, you see, went on for months and months and months like this. You see. Then I said to myself, you see, this, uh, what is the point in asking this question to yourself? If you see a flower, you see, just forget it, you see. 
that is not even a flower to me, what it is, you see, God alone knows. So why should you ask yourself, what is that, you see, what does it matter whether it is a flower or a tree or a, or a monkey or a don donkey, it doesn't matter at all. But you go on questioning yourself, every now and then, every time you look at, or ask, what is your name, you see, it, 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 it looks like you're living in a, a madhouse, as it were. Mm -hmm. And then, this, I, I couldn't uh, contain these, you see, the, the force of this, uh, the energy that was generating inside of me, you see. The, the day after day, day after day, I felt that I couldn't possibly contain this, you see, and I must do something about this. At the time, Deskachari was here, and then I talked to him about this. He had explained to me, you see, this, uh, this, this is supposed to be, you see, the, the state of being that uh, uh, all the religious teachers have come into, and uh, you, you have come on the reverse gear, and we all struggle, work hard, and go through the, the mill for years and years and years, and I don't know what kind of special flowers you offer to God as Durga in your previous life. <laughs> well, anyway, you have it and you see, and you must you see, do something, you see, to control, you see, the, the, the escape of this energy you see, out of your body. You come to India, we'll consult my father, and he is supposed to be an authority in, on yoga. So then I decided to go to India, but this continued for four or five months. It is there. No, no, here, oh, you yeah, see, this, yeah, yeah. but I was sick, totally and completely sick, you, you know, I, I did nothing but rest inside, you see, and watching, you see, what would be the outcome of this all. And then I went to India, and he suggested that I should go to a 48-day um, course of yoga and breathing exercises, and also some kind of a diet uh, restriction, you see, a very bland food, milk and rice and some fruits and vegetables for 48 days. He thought I would be able to uh, control this, you see. Not I would be able to control this. Somehow, you see, the, it will moderate its effects on the, the physical body. Mm -hmm. And uh, then he felt that I should go on for another um, 48 days. So I went on with the course, and, and it did help me uh, to contain, you see, to, to moderate the, the effects of uh, uh, these changes inside of me. Uh, and then, you see, you see, still I am still continuing the, the, the yoga lessons. And now it is something very natural to me, you see, there, there is no bewilderment, the, 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 the awareness inside and the, the awareness uh, inside is, and outside, the, these are the uh, two things that are all there for me. And so when, when I look at something, see, there is no problem for me to ask what it is, but that has an effect on me, you see. And uh, so, so, you see, this, the, suddenly, somehow, you see, the mechanisms uh, of, of the mind or, or the mental activity came to an end, you see, with, without any volition, without any effort on my part. And then, you see, the body took over, you see, as it were, and, and the sensitivity of the senses, you see, became extraordinarily sensitive. Um, and that still so? Uh, it, is, it is so, it, it is always uh -huh. so. Uh, but it's, what I am left with is, is only <laughs> the body. <laughs> and there, there's nothing inside the, inside of me, except the life, you see, throbbing mm, to, to every part of the body. Uh, that is all. Yeah, so when you use the word I... But well, that's only a mode of uh, communication. Uh -huh. It's the first person singular I have to use. Is not that there is, you see, the consciousness uh -huh. of the I all the time. But the, the whole structure has uh, come to an end because there, there is no such thing as a center in me at all. And all the, the reactions are the, the, the bodily reactions to the environment, to the things around. Yes, I don't know if I have uh, explained it. Maybe we can go into it and, and, and talk about it further. You see. I, I don't know if I have uh, yeah, communicated I it. Uh, if we go into it further, perhaps. May, 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 may you, yes, yes. yes. So, how do you know, for instance, when you when you suppose to, to name a rose of rose, mm -hmm. how, how in your mind we begin, begin to to remember that it was, it was necessary to give a name? Well, it's it's, it's a very simple process. I can now, you see, the, uh, describe that. You see the process. You know. All right. You, you look at a look at a flower. You see, it is not that I am looking at the flower, the flower is looking at me. You see, uh, 
the flower is looking at me because, you see, this, the eyes, you know. The eyes, as long as the eyes are open, they have to look at something or the other. If I close my eyes, then there is no problem at all. So, mm -hmm. if there is a tree, there is a tree, but I don't look at it as, it as a tree. Mm -hmm. You see, the, the color is not there. If I use the word object, you see, right. the, the communication is very difficult, yes, you yeah, see. Yeah. Uh, so when, when, you, when you look at an object, uh, if I use the word object, you see, the difficulty is to, uh, yeah, to, to communicate right. exactly uh, you see, what it is there inside of me. So what uh, happens? You, the object uh, becomes you? Is that the, the, no, 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 the object doesn't become me. You see. You are, but, what, but you say the word object now. Uh, so now how, how, to, how to communicate this to you? you see? Mm -hmm. I see you. Yeah. See, I see you, for instance. Right. I see her. Yeah. These are two different things, you see. Mm -hmm. How do I know that you are two different, that you are a woman and that she is a man? Mm -hmm. See, because the light falls on you, your shape is different, your hair is different, your, the, the, the color of your clothes are different, and he has a different build, he has a different shape, and there is a space mm -hmm. between you, you are sitting on that sofa. Mm -hmm. Actually and factually, you are not, please excuse me, <laughs> we yes. are putting it, you are not different from the sofa. Oh, yes. see, that's of a different, uh, uh, if, I, if I say color, you see, you see. <laughs> so it is a description. Is it, uh, no, I, I, there, there is nothing here, I am looking at all the things here, yeah. you see, that is, a, uh, if I say that the chair, how do you distinguish, you see, the, the, the human being from the, um, the from the chair, you see, so because you are all moving. Obviously, you are animate things, and the others are animate things. Because the light is falling on you, you see the, the, it's a, um, the retina, you see, it's just like a camera a lens, you see. If I turn this side, you don't exist for me. What is there? You see the eyes look at it. Um, if I want to, he says, I know his name, I know who he is, and, 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 and the whole thing, you see, whatever I know, this is there in the background. If there is a need, who decides the need? I don't decide the need, the situation the, 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 the decides the need, you see. Whether this information can be of any, any value, the situation, so the moment I see him, I don't even recognize him. Yes. But you see, so at the same time, there, there are certain courtesies. Yes, quite. You know, common we decency, live we live in this yes. world. Yes. And so, you see, the, the common decency suggests that I should say hello to him, yes. you understand? So the, the word is there for me to supply hello or good morning. So the situation decides, each situation uh -huh. decides when and how the information that is there inside is, uh, uh -huh. is necessary or is to be used. Yeah. Uh, you see, when that is over, you see, I say hello, and then this some kind of a declutching, you see. Automatically it is declutched, and then we are back again, you see, in the same way I am looking at him. Yeah. And you see, because there is a movement inside him, you see, the movement of life. It is, you see, there is a movement of life, you see. So these two living things, not, not this process, is, there is no thinking at all. Yeah. You see, because the, the very recognition of, of, uh, of any object, you see, as... Uh, the difficulty is if I use the object. The very recognition of anything, you see, as, you see, as an object or as, you see, or as a name, the thought comes in. So that means it is a waste of energy. See, the thought is a waste of energy. And so ordinarily, the thought does not come into my mind, uh, into, come into yes. being at all, yes. Yes. at all. Yes. And yet, you see, th there, is, uh, there is already, you see, something that is going on because, you see, you, you yes. are affecting me, not that I am affecting you. you see, if, I, if, I, if I see a thing, what you call a beautiful rose, you see, I don't call it a rose, number one. I, I don't um, know what that color is. Right? And then, you see, uh, I don't even call it a beautiful thing. Maybe, you see, next to that you have very deep yellow uh, grass flowers. The eye automatically goes to them and not to this. Because the deep colors, you see, always, you see, the, the eye goes straight, not the eye grows. That attracts the, 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 the yeah. eye and the retina captures that, you see, so the, the most beautiful flower has no importance at all. The, the, the green, uh, the, the deep yellow color, it's just a grass flower, the, it goes straight there. That may be the reason why, you see, the mystics always talk of uh, the dew drop on a grass. Because the reflection of the sun, it is very white, and so the eye goes straight there. No, not the eye goes there, but that attracts, you see, the eye. And not, not, uh, not I am looking at it, you see. And that has an effect, it has a physical effect on me. 
because there is nobody else inside, there is no mental activity of any kind, whatever you see is there in the environment, really, that affects the body. And how, how do I know that affects the body? You see, because, you see, if I take a walk from here to the star, this is a very beautiful valley, number one. I don't call it beautiful, I have no choice. So if there is, you see, a very picturesque landscape, which we call a picturesque landscape, I don't call it. So the eyes are fixed straight, you see, on that, you see, and the, and the, the eyeballs uh, become very fixed, they don't move. Uh, and that, you see, uh, the, the beauty of that landscape, or whatever it is, uh, immediately, you see, has a reaction on me, because you know, I take a deep breath, you see. So it, it is a breathtaking view, obviously, otherwise, why, why would I take, take it? And then, you see, I, I walk a few steps further, I, I see a cow moving, you know. I don't call that a cow, you see, like it's, it's a newborn baby, you see, you, you place her, you look as if you have never looked at the cow, you see, the, the waving of the tail and the head, you see the moving, the horns, and, and, and it's, it's, it's not that nothing is going on inside me, it's, I am describing it in order to, to, to communicate, you yes. see, no, not, not, not communicate, to describe, you see, a state of being at that particular moment. So, you see, you, you, you are there at that particular, whatever the eyes see at that particular moment is all that is there for me in that world. You see, that's all, that there is nothing else, you see, I move a little and then, you see, something else comes. If there is anything of a beautiful uh, a thing around me, it immediately, you see, it, it, it has a, an effect on me. See, so I breathe again and again and again. This breathing process goes on and on and on. And this breathing has an effect inside of me because the oxygen enters, you see, every cell in my body. You know, it's just, uh, here I must mention, you see, uh, the, what, what the Hindus call the chakras, you know. Oh, yeah. You may have the heard, centers. you see, the centers, they started all of a sudden, you see, I still have uh, some of them, you see. And they appeared all over, you see, the 34 spots appeared on my body. And the chakras, wherever the chakras are supposed to be, they, 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 are, they are not chakras, but to me, the, the dormant glands in the body have suddenly uh, be, become, become active, you see. Mm, what triggered this process, you see, is very difficult because when once, you see, this, this stepping out process takes place, the, the the triggering device is already there inside of you. It's, 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 it's automatic, and, and and so the the triggering device perhaps has set in motion. You see, uh, the whole process and all these dormant, and particularly here, you see, um, and now perhaps you can't see. see the lotus appeared, you see, on my forehead. This perhaps is the the pineal gland or the pituitary gland or some mm -hmm. glands, the new glands, all the dormant glands, and here um, the the pituitary gland. Yeah. All of them is just by somehow we see activate it and and this breathing you see it, it's like a barrel pole it when it goes in you see it takes turns like this and and spreads to every every nerve center in my body and i become aware of this process because you see there are uh, 64 spots on my body you see where i feel the pulse not only here and here but in 64 spots, you see, the, the, the throbbing of uh, the life is, is felt by, I become aware, not, not felt by somebody. Um, and so, you see this, and then again when I breathe out, you see the same process goes on. And, and the whole body is, is heated up as a result of this uh, uh, breathing in and breathing out. Uh, and then, you see, it, it produces large quantities of saliva. And so I have to follow that saliva. The moment this saliva goes inside, you see, it generates electricity in, inside the body. And it, it goes on and on and on, whether you, see, you look at this, uh, an object there, or whether you listen to your music, or whether, uh, no matter what you do, I, I have no choices. I can't say this is, uh, I'm going to listen to something this, or, or going to, going for a walk. It's naturally I take a walk because the body is, uh, needs some exercise, and so I usually take a walk. Or if I, sit here and I look out of the window, you see, I can sit there and look out of the window for the rest of my life, it's because every time I look out, it's, it's something new, so, which I have never seen before, you see, every day I see this, is, and every automobile that's going there, you see, it's, it's, it's a moving thing, it's, if I call it thing, you can, what it is, you always wonder, you know, the moving thing on the road, and, and then it's one after the other, one after the other, one after the other, these automobiles come different colors, different shades, so you can go on looking, looking at them for the, because there's nothing else to do. 
You see, at this particular moment, yes, if there is something, you see, you see, something, something to do, yes, for instance, you see, he told me that it would all be coming here at 4 o'clock, I was ready by 3.45. Three mm -hmm. If there is nothing there for me, I go in, in, inside of my room and rest. When, when there is no awareness outside, there is an awareness inside. And what is that awareness inside means, you see, you, you become aware of the whole, the movement of your body, the blood, the, the, uh, the heartbeat. I, I listen to the heartbeat, you see. And, and, and so it's very interesting to listen to one's own heart, <laughs> heartbeat. Uh, that's possible only when the outside science, uh, right. uh, sounds are not there. Yes. But there is all the time this, this uh, tremendous, uh, what shall I say, this, uh, this state of uh, uh, um, silence. You know, it's not, uh, silence means not the absence of uh, sound at all. The sounds are there. But no distinction whether somebody is playing you see, uh, a piano there or um, somebody some screeching, s s screaming noise mm -hmm. some there you see or the, the utensils noise there they they are all the same you see they they come and hit you see mm -hmm. uh, that's all you see the sound is there and when you look at it uh, the things are there and uh, what am I saying uh, and so you see I, I can stay in my bed you see. And there is no such thing as hunger for me, you see, because I don't feel uh, the chemistry of the body needs food. And so I take food at regular intervals to keep the body going. Otherwise, I feel weak. For days and days, so I didn't take food at all. Mm -hmm. And I felt weak because there is no such thing as hunger at all. That seems to be the only thing that uh, the body needs. You see, the body has to be... What is left is only, uh, only the body. And, and so the body uh, has to be uh, maintained in a perfect condition. And... And, and and so, you see, this goes on and on and on and on, you see, day after day. Um, well, this is an interesting <laughs> thing. Yeah. thing. Yeah. It's an extraordinarily, for the first time, you see, you feel that this is the way to live, you see. Yeah. The way the people love is, is, is live is, is, is something terrible because, you see, there are conflicts, contradictions, and, 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 and why, why they worry themselves over all these things because this is the way to live you see that, that is not the way to live and then how how to um, um, uh, how to um, uh, how should I put it um, uh, why why you see the this the people come with all kinds of questions. You know, when, when I meet um, friends here, they come here, they, they ask hundreds and thousands of questions. Because, you see, there are no questions for me at all. What, what has happened is, you see, um, we all sought something and we seek something, we are seeking something. It is not that you have arrived at this uh, destination or that you have uh, found what you have sought or, or all your life, but the 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 search has suddenly come to an end, you see, and, and this is, uh, that means, you see, there is no questioner inside of me. I am not only questioning, uh, not questioning what is this, what is that, what is that, and what is this, but also the so-called deeper problems, you see. What is this life? What is life? Is there any meaning in this world, see, in, in our existence? Has life any purpose? Or the universe around you, how this whole thing has come into existence. Uh, the perfect, you see, all these questions, you see, are, are, are trivial, you see, because there is no questioner who is asking any questions of any kind anymore inside of me. And so why, why do they ask all these questions? Of course, there are basic questions. If I want to go to the railway station, naturally, if I ask, if I don't know, if I will ask somebody. These are the, the, the questions uh, um, of the day-to-day uh, -day existence, but there, there is no questioner at all inside of me, no questioner asking any questions of any kind anymore. The, the questioner has disappeared, not that you see, I have found the answers for all these questions, 